Hi there, friend. Welcome to another episode of the Aaron Chase Show. I am your host, Aaron Chase, and it's been a minute, a couple weeks, actually. Um, I enjoyed a little time off with my people um, up at my mom's lake house, a little getaway there. And we're back, and we are full on in back to school mode. You know that. If you are one of my email besties, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what I am doing. Um, today, I'm going to talk you through and show you a little bit more about our back to school uh, freezer meal challenge. You can see um, the link. Hi, Tatiana. How are you? Um, you can see a link in the video, also pinned in the comments as well. If you want to join me, I'm going to walk you through the two options that we have here. Um, we're making dinners that cook themselves, which is essentially dinners that we put into the freezer and either a slow cooker crock pot or an instant pot or electric pressure cooker are going to cook dinner for you while you go about your busy back to school um, season in madness. Hello, Helen. I'm so glad you guys are joining live. Okay. If you are listening to this later on the podcast or watching on YouTube later, you can go ahead and look for the link that I'm talking about in the description or in the show notes, wherever you are listening or watching. So quick rundown. Uh, it's back to school season. It's madness. Okay. Uh, I feel it as well. Um, this year I feel it even more acutely because of this yes or no recession. We're not going to get into that debate, but I feel the recession in our budget, and I imagine you do as well. Um, whether or not there is one, I feel the pinch, and I know you feel the pinch, and so I'm really working hard this year to, you know, get the best deals on everything from school supplies, you know, looking for coupon codes for shoes. My, my kids need, like, dress shoes for school, um, any parts and pieces um, of their uniform. I'm looking to, like, trade with friends, things like that. So this, every, every bit counts. And I feel like when we go through the back to school mode, we get into this, okay, I'm in a hurry. I'm just going to bust through the drive-thru. Um, I'm going to grab, you know, take out or have food delivered even. There's this pressure to feed ourselves quickly. And that costs so much money. I've talked about this for years, but convenience costs more whether that's pre-cut, anything from pre-cut fruit in, hit the grocery store uh, is gonna cost more than just buying the pineapple or buying the watermelon, right? Um, to food that's prepared for you, whether it's fast food, takeout food, sit down food, whatever, um, it's all so expensive. Like I, I actually went on a short little road trip the last two days and I was like, I'm taking all the snacks that I can, I'm buying as little as I can that, you know, from, you know, a restaurant or, or drive through or whatever. Holy cow. When we did um, grab food from somewhere, it was so expensive, which I know that I get it. It's all part of all of it. All that to say, I'm working extra hard this season to be really intentional with my food dollars. Okay. And of course that that comes back to, um, that comes back to saving money on groceries, which is what we're all about. And my absolute favorite way to do that is get meat on sale, put it into the freezer. Um, or in, in this case, the convenience of, you know, getting meat, getting it into the freezer so you don't end up in the drive-thru, okay? For our family to go through, let's say like the Chick-fil-A drive-thru, $60, friends, six, zero, six, zero. Uh, if I can do dinner at home for five, seven, ten dollars $10, you better believe I'm eating at home as much as possible. I'm not opposed to going out to dinner. I'm not opposed to the fast food. Do not hear that. I want you to hear we need to be intentional and we need to be mindful of our budgets, especially right now. And for us, that means eating more at home. And for me as a busy working mom, that means preparing and getting ahead of dinner. And I do that with freezer meals. So the link is in the comments. Someone asked about the, the website. One, I actually have uh, several websites, but the one we're talking about today is my Freeze Easy. And the dinner cooks itself uh, back to school freezer meal challenge and the dinner cooks itself has two options. I'm going to show you them both one and two. Okay. There's two options. This is completely free to join. There is a bundle version where I, where I will print this and mail this to you, like physically mail it to you. There is that option. Um, you do not have to take it. It's completely free to sign up and download and print this on your own. Um, which is what I think the majority of people do. But if you want the, want the bundle, that is 
an option. Don't get mad at me and say this costs money. It does not. Um, so I want you to try this, okay? And I'm going to break down uh, why I think this works. I've kind of explained it a little bit um, already, but um, there's an instruction sheet and there's all kinds of goodies in this download, okay? So the idea here with the My Freeze Easy method, this is a, um, a program, a methodology, a software, apps that we developed because I think freezer meals are that important to keeping your kitchen moving and keeping uh, dinner on the table for your family and keeping your grocery bill in check. They're that important. So I actually built an entire separate website, separate apps, <clears throat> separate program to uh, <clears throat> help you with this. So the Dinner Cooks Itself Party has two choices, okay? The first is the slow cooker choice, okay? Um, I am just checking, okay. This is the slow cooker choice and you can see the other choice is the Instant Pot. They're different recipes, different cooking, but both of these <clears throat> go like this. Put the meals together, follow the instructions that are in this plan, I'll show you those in a second, and then freeze. And then once it's frozen, you can put the frozen meal um, into a bowl of water to thaw for a couple of minutes, just enough for the frozen ingredients to separate from the bag of your container. And then once it's separated, you can put completely frozen into the slow cooker or into the Instant Pot, okay? That's how both of these work. They're so hands-off. I use these types of recipes all the time. Freezer to slow cooker, freezer to Instant Pot, hands down. Um, I would say my favorite because they're so easy to get cooking. And the first time you do it, you might, I'm gonna walk you through everything. I'm gonna give you the instructions. I'm gonna give you all the step-by-steps of all the parts and pieces of this. Um, but that's just kind of a high-level overview of how, of how this works. And so in the download that you can get, this is again free. The link is in the comments on the pinned comment. It's also in the video. If you're listening or watching this later, look in the description or the show notes. You'll see where you can join this. Uh, in the last two weeks, we've had over 5,000 people join the challenge, which is wild and crazy. Okay, so this is a recipe. This is how you were to make it just tonight for dinner. This is how you double it to freeze it. Slow cooker, or sorry, gluten-free and uh, dairy-free modifications on every single recipe. So there's the second recipe, spinach artichoke chicken. It's basically like cracked chicken with spinach and artichoke. It's so good. Cheesy salsa chicken, okay? And then here are the shopping lists. Shopping list by recipe, and then shopping list by store category. Wait, what? I know, this is my favorite. I organize my shopping list by store category. Uh, so I also, in I include both of these because you can use them dif differently. You can also use this for like when you're doing your prep and you want to put all the ingredients together for each meal. You can use that recipe as well. We also have, because I'm so type A, uh, we developed it so that only the ingredients that are being frozen are on this list. So this does not include garnishes, side dish suggestions, um, anything like that that you might be mixing in later is not on this list. So you could use this list um, for shopping and for meal prep as well. So they're just options for you because I know different people organize things differently. Okay, next is going to be, these are the instructions for a set, uh, getting your ingredients ready for what I call the meal assembly. So we do ingredient prep first. This is the My Freeze Easy method. This is where we do ingredient prep first. It takes anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how many meals you're doing. And this is things like chopping vegetables, opening cans, mixing up sauces. If we're doing some sort of a homemade sauce or a sauce combination or marinade or something like that. Um, opening cans, maybe browning ground beef. And in these particular recipes, there's no browning of anything or pre-cooking of any kind. It's just quickly at uh, opening up um, you know, cans and packages and things like that. And then once that's done, you go through the meal assembly and you go kind of meal by meal, two at a time. So there's three recipes. These are all gonna make six meals. You would add the ingredients for the Mississippi beef roast is gonna be the chuck roast, the ranch dressing, the pepperoncini peppers, and a little bit of pepper. Uh, the next one, the spinach artichoke chicken, you're adding chicken breasts, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and half of the cheesy mixture that you already made during the ingredient prep. And then for the cheesy salsa chicken, you're gonna do the chicken breasts, the salsa, the taco seasoning. We are not adding cream cheese at this time. Uh, I have a note on there about that. You will add that after, uh, towards the end of the slow cooking cycle. So all of that is there. So it's ingredient prep and then meal prep. I have tried freezer cooking 47 different ways, seriously. Uh, maybe not 47, but like at least 12. 
And this is by far the most efficient. And so when I went to develop this system and this software and the MyFreeZZ method, I went with this kind of concept uh, because it's efficient. And that is, that is my jam. I am here to help make dinner efficient. And I want you to um, be efficient in this busy back to school season. So that's why I want you to download this. Let me just walk you through the Instant Pot recipes really fast just so that you can see them. Okay. So this is the same thing. The three recipes double. You're going to get six meals. Okay. There is the root beer pulled pork. Mmm. So flavorful. The, I, the, the pressure cooker has a great way of infusing flavor into meat, and that's why I love these recipes. Pork chops with a little homemade ginger peach. I guess glaze slash chopping. Uh, the best ever shredded chicken tacos made in the Instant Pot. Same story, all the different types of shopping lists. These are available. You can pick the Instant Pot one or the slow cooker one. Uh, the ingredient prep, look at how short that ingredient prep is. Like there's hardly anything you've got to do that. You've got to mix up the ginger peach sauce, open some cans and you're cutting up a, a, a red onion. So super, super simple and basic ingredient prep. And then of course the assembly. Okay, I'm actually, on Thursday for the Dinner Made Easy show, we are going to make the six meals in the slow cooker plan. I just picked the slow cooker plan. I could be doing the Instant Pot, but we're gonna do this one. So if you wanna join me or join the challenge, get this downloaded, then follow along so you can watch and see how it works. These six recipes will probably take me between 20 and 30 minutes to put together. Sometimes it takes a little longer when I'm chatting and kind of teaching about how it all works, but you'll see just how fast and efficient this is. So if you wanna join me um, live on Thursday, that'll be Thursday morning, probably around nine o'clock central time. I've gotta do it early that day. Uh, so that's happening. Of course, you can watch the replay. It will also be available on YouTube. So you can see exactly how this works and how amazing it will be to do this. Then the following week, I will put, uh, I'll show you how to cook one of these from the freezer. Okay, so we're gonna actually take this finished artichoke chicken from this once we've frozen it, and I will then uh, cook, show you how to get it into the slow cooker and get it cooking. You'll see that, I believe that is August 11th. Goodness, I don't, I don't know dates, but something like that. So I'm doing this in three parts. I'm teaching you how this kind of works at the high level today. On Thursday on the Dinner Made Easy Show, I'm gonna actually prep all of these six meals. And then the following week, I will put these, uh, show you how to take it from the freezer into the slow cooker onto your table. So that's kind of the plan. I want to set you up for success and that's why I'm showing you um, how to do all of this. I, I have made it as simple as I can in this format where you can download the PDF. I hope you'll do that. The link is in the comments. It's also here on the video. Again, if you're listening later, it's in uh, the show notes as well. So let me just scroll through the comments really quickly and recap this for you. Tatiana, I have got um, all the Mexican food you need, other options uh, for you. Yes, Tatiana, these are separated by slow cooker and Instant Pot. Not everybody has an Instant Pot. Um, some people prefer one or the other, so that's why they're two. They're two different sets of recipes, um, two options um, there for you. Deborah says, your freezer meals have been a lifesaver for my 12 to 16 hour days. Girl, that's a lot of work. I feel you, that's exactly why we do this. Um, these are fantastic, not just for back to school. I had some teacher friends emailing the other day talking about how they need to get these into the freezer now because their, their long days are, are coming. Also, if you are having a baby or surgery or whatever, um, they're also really handy to have on hand if you need to gift a meal to a friend, you have them right there. Ashley, yes, we do have a keto option. I will put the link here when we wrap up. We're wrapping up in just a second. We have a keto category in our apps. We have um, a clean eats category, which I would consider a little bit closer towards a diabetic friendly, um, a diabetic friendly type of a, a diet. We have Paleo Whole30 recipes and categories as well. Um, so we've done the best that we can to divide out the, the, uh, the I would say more common dietary uh, preferences or restrictions or allergens. Um, so we do have all of that. I'll put a link or two under your comment here um, when we wrap up. So 
That is what I wanted to share with you, my friends. I hope this was helpful, giving you kind of a high-level overview of how this works. I hope you'll join the party. The idea is letting the Instant Pot and the slow cooker cook dinner for you. So if we can do a little bit of prep, about 30 minutes to get these six meals into the freezer, these are super hands-off and dinner will literally cook itself um, in the Instant Pot or the slow cooker to help through this busy back-to-school season. And again, having meals prepared and on backup in your freezer is going to help immensely with your overall food costs, right? Um, a little bit of investment. All of these meals are super affordable. Getting these six meals into the freezer usually doesn't cost more than 40 or $50, depending on the meat prices in your area. Um, again, if you can score a sale on that, even better. Um, the idea is to spend as little as possible on food um, and getting setting ourselves up for success with these freezer meals. And that will help keep us from calling for takeout, calling for delivery, um, grab, go, running through the drive through It's just so brutal right now. We have to be intentional and every little thing like this that we can do is going to make a big difference. So get yourself one of these downloaded, um, get yourself set up for success in your kitchen and you will have meals both right now for the busy back to school season. And of course we have um, the My Cuisine Method and entire program. Um, you can get more information about that. I want you to get going with one of these. So click the link that is in the comments or on the video or in the show notes. Um, join the Back to School Freezer Meals Challenge and I will send you everything you need to know um, by email from there. Um, and I want to, again, equip you with great, delicious, affordable meals that are in your freezer that are going to help you in this busy back to school season and also help you float through this challenging season of inflation and increased food prices. It just takes a little bit of extra intention and this is my favorite way to be intentional. This is what I am personally doing um, and I would encourage you to do the same. All right, my friends, that is all for this week's episode of The Aaron Chase Show. I will see you for the live meal prep on Thursday morning for the Dinner Made Easy Show. Of course, you can catch the replay, listen to old episodes, all of those. Wherever you're listening or watching this right now, you'll find former uh, past videos and episodes there. Um, it's bye for now, and we'll see you again soon.